friends this is yd sir again with your economics class for mains and other competitive exams such as upsc bps and other examination so let us discuss the concepts in more detailed order that national income of india provides the national income measurement in net value of goods and services produced within a country during a year it includes earned foreign income for the financial year this is from 1st april to 31st january national income is the gross aggregate of all the things which is done inside a country within a fiscal year so it is a measurement of flow of goods and services in an economy are you understanding it नेशनल इनकम एक साल में जो भी इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी की गई है किसी कंट्री के अंतर्गत उनका मेजरमेंट है एंड एज कॉन्ट्रास्टेड विद द नेशनल वेल्थ विच मेजर्स द स्टॉक ऑफ कमोडिटी हेल्ड बाय द नेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एट अ पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम नेशनल इनकम मेजर्स द प्रोडक्शन पावर ऑफ अ इकोनॉमी एंड गिव इन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम टर्न आउट गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज फॉर अ फाइनेंशियल कंजम्पन वॉट इट डज so it is the aggregate of the consumption plus investment plus government expenditures and adding export less import within a economy so this is the formula you make in your notes and memorize it for your upcoming examination so that you can keep it in mind for longer time how it means so g is total government expenditure x is the import and m is the import in this formula and nnp as a factor cost so net national product is considered at a factor cost and national income can be measured by gross national product gnp or in gross domestic product so gross national income and net national product and per capita income is also calculated let us see in the next slide that national income aggregates are estimated either at the factor cost or at the market price either it is factor cost or at market price so what is factor cost it is refers to the cost of factors of production that is land rent comprising of interest on capital wages paid jo bhi mehnatana diya gaya jo bhi payment ki gayi hai land ki rent jo bhi calculate hui hai and the profit of entrepreneur these are all considered to be the factor cost so factor cost equals to market price minus indirect tax or subsidies okay so indirect tax consists of gst also keep it in your mind market price now market price is the price actually paid by the customer it includes components of indirect taxes and subsidies ab main bata raha hu ki jaise factor cost calculate ki gayi thi aise hi market price ka bhi ye formula hai ise aap logon ko yaad rakhna hoga you guys should remember that mp equals to factor cost and indirect taxes minus subsidies so at various concept of national income at per capita income it is measure of amount of money that is being earned per person in a certain area so per capita income is national income divided by population remember this formula so it is national income divided by the population which brings you the per capita income of one person of a country now what is gross national product gnp refers to the money value of total output or production of final goods and services produced by the nationals of a country during a given period of time it calculation of gnp we include the money value of goods and services produced by national outside the country 
hence the income produced and received by nationals of country within the boundaries of foreign countries should be added to the gross domestic product of the country यानी कि जब भी जी एन पी कैलकुलेट होती है जितना भी आउटपुट हुआ है प्रोडक्शन एक्टिविटीज़ का जो भी चीज़ें प्रोड्यूस हुई है कमोडिटीज़ गुड्स सर्विसेज किसी भी कंट्री के अंतर्गत इन अ फाइनेंशियल ईयर तो उनकी मनी वैल्यू जो है वो कैलकुलेट की जाती है सिमिलरली इनकम रिसीव्ड बाय फॉरेन नेशनल्स विद इन द बाउंड्री ऑफ द कंट्री शुड बी एक्सक्लूडेड फ्रॉम द जी ये आपको यहाँ पे याद रखना है कि जीडीपी से जो भी फॉरेन नेशनल की इनकम है वो एक्सक्लूड कर देनी है एंड दिस प्रिंसिपल गिव यू दिस फॉर्मूला जी एन पी इक्वल्स टू जी डी पी प्लस एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इम्पोर्ट जी एन पी इक्वल्स टू ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट प्लस एक्सपोर्ट प्लस इम्पोर्ट ओके If x is equal to m, यानी कि जब export import के बराबर हो जाता है then x minus m equals to जीरो then GNP एन पी इक्वल्स टू जी डी पी ऑफ द इकोनॉमी सो जी एन पी इजल टू जी डी पी प्लस नेट फैक्टर इनकम फ्राम एब्रॉड दैट इज़ एन एफ आई एंड वॉट इज़ फैक्टर इनकम फ्राम एब्रॉड सो इट इज़ फैक्टर इनकम रिसीव फ्राम एब्रॉड माइनस फैक्टर इनकम पेड टू एब्रॉड ओके कीप दिस फॉर्मूला इन योर माइंड Now next topic, net national product. Net national product is obtained by subtracting the depreciation value, that is the capital stock consumption. Capital stock consumption क्या है friends? जो भी capital है, है ना? That is long term investment in an economy. The long term investments किसी भी economy में whether it is fdi whether it is manufacturing units or whether it is factories created in a country that generates the capital so nnp is obtained by subtracting depreciating value jo bhi capital stock consumed hue hai from gnp that is nnp equals to gnp minus depreciation तो कैपिटल में जो भी डेप्रिसिएशन आया है उसको सब्ट्रैक्ट करने पे हमें क्या मिलता है एन एन पी नाउ वट इज जी डी पी दन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड जी डी पी क्या होता है फ्रेंड्स कहते हैं ना कि इंडिया की जी डी पी एट पॉइंट एट चल रही है अभी ये डिक्लाइन करेगी कोविड के टाइम देर वॉज रिडक्शन इन द जी डी पी सो जी डी पी is the total money value of all the final goods and services produced within the geographical boundaries of the country during a given period of time so in a given certain period of time whatever goods and services are produced in a geographical boundary that creates the gdp so the domestic product emphasizes the total output which is raised within the geographical boundaries of the country The national product focuses not only on the domestic product but also on the goods and services produced outside the boundaries of the nation. So, ये difference है between GDP and GNP. GNP में जो outside the country के बाहर भी जो चीज़ें produce हुई हैं for example some outsourcing plant outside India in Nepal, Bangladesh, China. वहाँ से भी जो चीज़ आ रही हैं इंडिया में कंज्यूम हो रही हैं दैट इज़ आल्सो कंसिडर्ड इन जीएनपी बट जीडीपी कंसिडर्स ओनली द कंजम्पन इन्वेस्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर्स एंड नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स ये चीज़ें आप याद रखेंगे देन इट गिव्स द फॉर्मूला जीडीपी इक्वल्स टू सी प्लस आई प्लस जी प्लस एक्सपोर्ट माइनस इम्पोर्ट ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू मूव अहेड वॉट इज ग्रॉस वैल्यू एडेड ग्रॉस वैल्यू एडेड विच इज द वैल्यू प्रोड्यूस्ड विद इन एन इकोनॉमी इन टर्म्स ऑफ गुड्स और सर्विसेज सो जी वी एम इज इज द वैल्यू एडेड ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द इकोनॉमी दैट इज द 
addition of rupee value for the amount of goods and services produced in an economy after deducting the cost of inputs and raw materials that have gone into the production of those goods and services jo bhi raw materials उन गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज को बनाने में कंज्यूम हुए हैं उनको रिड्यूस कर दिया जाता है टोटल इकोनॉमिक आउटपुट से टोटल आउटपुट माइनस टोटल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज कॉस्ट इक्वल्स टू जी वी ए किस यू क्रॉस वैल्यू एडेड इट इज़ वन ऑफ द न्यू कंसेप्ट टू क्रिएट एंड मेजर द ग्रोथ ऑफ इकोनॉमी so gva is sector specific it is based on different sectors of economy in which you see primary sectors which we discussed in previous class secondary sectors which are manufacturing some sectors are service oriented so in this way it caters various sectors and it is sector specific so gva for core sectors will be different from gva of the manufacturing sectors and similarly gva of service sector will be different ahead so gva of all sectors of economy with taxes added and subsidies are deducted okay so gva economic output minus input is deducted so this is the formula of gva add it in your notes now what is nominal gdp look this is very basic class i am trying to explain many small small things in your class which you will try to understand and make notes out of it so what is nominal gdp it is the market value of all final goods and services produced within the country what is the real gdp the adjustment transforms the nominal gdp into the index of the quantity of total output it is a measurement of value of the output economy adjusted for price changes and base year is selected for counting real gdp so real gdp is growth rate removes any effect that have arises due to inflation in given as the true picture of economic reality india changes base year of gdp calculation so j base year was 2045 and now it is changed to 2011 and 12 okay so real gdp kaise calculate hoti hai friends it is taken to the actual gdp minus the total output okay and this means that gdp will counter keeping the price of 2011-12 as a base price new gdp series from 2011-12 onwards change of base year 2004-5 to 2011 and 12 now change in gdp calculation using marked price rather than the factor cost adopted the international practice of valuating industry wise estimate to gross value added gva at basic prices now moving ahead to another topic that is gdp back series what is this series so it is expert committee set by the national statistical commission what is statistical commission look everything in economy is calculated on statistics and it is being measured by isi institute which take estimates of this all the statistics which makes it mandatory to take any decision for any planning scheme formulation and implementation of plan and policies now this national statistical commission releases recently the report of back series of gdp data back series of data provide the earlier year data using the new calculations and it help in understanding the economy its size growth rate more accurately now what is national income 
so gnp is the base on market prices of product produced goods within which include indirect taxes and subsidies second net national product can be calculated in two ways that is at market price of goods and services and at factor cost nnp ko do tarike se calculate kar sakte hain students you learn that nnp can be calculated in two ways first at market price of the goods and services jo bhi market price ban rahi hain finally kisi goods ki it is commodity ya kisi bhi service product ki and that is taken at the market that is a nnp so nnp at market price and nnp at factor cost so nnp is obtained at factor cost it is known known as the national income yaad rakhiyega what is national income so nnp at factor price or factor cost is called as the national income national income is calculated by subtracting net indirect taxes that is total indirect tax subsidies from nnp at market price so nnp kaise calculate kiya ja raha hai gnp minus net indirect taxes plus subsidy so it is obtained in the value known as nnp at factor cost or national income so this is the formula for calculating the national income equals to nnp at market price minus indirect taxes minus subsidies so national income is equal to nnp at market price minus indirect tax minus subsidies जो भी सब्सिडी सरकार देती है किसानों को एग्रीकल्चर के लिए फूड सब्सिडी क्रॉप सब्सिडी एंड वेरियस काइंड ऑफ स्कीम्स दैट इज रिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम दिस फार्मूला एंड दैट गिव्स यू एनएनपी एट मार्केट प्राइस सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज एनएनपी एट मार्केट प्राइस माइनस इनडायरेक्ट टैक्सेस माइनस सब्सिडीज इक्वल्स टू नेशनल इनकम तो so, इससे अपने देश भारत का इनकम कैलकुलेट होता है आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस फैक्ट नेक्स्ट इज पर्सनल इनकम व्हाट इज दिस पर्सनल इनकम अबाउट सो पर्सनल इनकम गिव्स यू द इंडिविजुअल इनकम ऑफ अ पर्सन ऑप्टेंड by the national or individual kisi ek vyakti ke dwara jo bhi income generate ki ja rahi hai due to his activities and work is called as the personal income personal income is obtained by subtracting corporate taxes and payment made for the social securities provisions from national income and adding to it government transfer payment business transfer payment and net interest paid by the government so personal income equals to national income minus undistributed profits less payments for the security that is social security provisions less corporate taxes plus government transfer payment plus business transfer payment plus net interest paid by the government so you will remember this formula it is big one now personal disposable income what is personal disposable income so ek vyakti hai jo ki personal income generate kar raha hai through his office work or through his job so reducing that indirect tax is paid by the person gives you the personal disposable income now when a person direct tax are subtracted from personal income the obtained value is called disposable personal income dpi equals to personal income minus direct tax per capita income what is per capita income 
पर कैपिटल इनकम इज द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दैट इज बीइंग अर्न पर पर्सन इन अ कंट्री एंड पर कैपिटल इनकम ऑफ कंट्री इक्वल्स टू नेशनल इनकम डिवाइडेड बाय पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द कंट्री ओके यू रिमेंबर दिस फार्मूला एट पर कैपिटल इनकम इक्वल टू नेशनल इनकम डिवाइडेड बाय पॉपुलेशन gives you the per capita income moving ahead we see at the nucleus of the economy is the disposable income which is equals to personal income minus direct taxes yahan pe revision karte jaiye aur memorize kariye ki kaise personal income calculate hoti hai personal income equals to net national product at factor cost plus net transfer payment transfer payments again nnpfc equals to net national payment at mark price minus indirect taxes plus subsidies what is gnp that is nnpmp net national product at mark price plus depreciation और पीछे हमने फॉर्मूला देखा था जी एन पी इक्वल्स टू नेट नेशनल प्रोडक्ट लेस सब्सिडीज एंड एन एन पी एट मार्केट प्राइस इक्वल टू जी एन पी एट मार्क प्राइस माइनस डेप्रीशिएशन इन अ फाइनेंशियल ईयर नाउ लेट अस सी द मेथड्स फॉर मेजरिंग द नेशनल इनकम सो नेशनल इनकम इज मेजर्ड बाय द फॉलोइंग मेजर्स नेशनल इनकम ऑफ कंट्री इज कैलकुलेटेड बाय थ्री मेथड्स प्रोडक्ट मेथड इन दिस मेथड द नेट वैल्यू ऑफ फाइनल गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन अ कंट्री ड्यूरिंग अ ईयर इज ऑप्टेंड एंड टोटल इज ऑप्टेंड वैल्यू इज कॉल्ड एज टोटल फाइनल प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स द ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट सो GDP डी पी इज कैलकुलेटेड एंड नेट इनकम अर्न इन अ फॉरन बाउंड्री बाई द नेशनल इज एडेड एंड डिप्रीशिएशन इज सब्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द जी डी पी सो नेट इनकम इज एडेड माइनस द डिप्रीशिएशन गिवस यू दैल वैल्यू इनकम मेथड so how national income is calculated by income method so national income in this method is total net income earned by working people in different sectors and commercial enterprises is obtained so national income through income method is total rent earned rent paid total wages taken and total interest charged plus total profit added this gives you the national income next is consumption method so it is called as the expenditure method income is either spent on consumption or saved hence national income is the addition of total consumption and total saving total consumption plus total saving gives you total consumption so india mein kya system hai friends india mein a combination of production method and income method is used for estimating the national income both ko combine karke calculation kiya jata hai now we will see how it is calculated so in 1868 first attempt was made by dada bhai naroji you know grand old man of india who tried to estimate the economic exploitation of indians by british rule to dada bhai naroji ne estimate kiya ki is book poverty and un british rule in india that india per capita income is rupees 20 in that period aap soch pa rahe ho 1868 mein when inflation rate was negative and the income level was rupees 20 तो so, आप इस बुक को भी याद रखेंगे पॉवर्टी एंड अन ब्रिटिश रूल पॉवर्टी एंड अन ब्रिटिश रूल बाई दादा भाई नौरोजी 
1868 now next part we see that also in 1911 some other economist tried to estimate india's national income कुछ और लोगों ने भी भारत के नेशनल इनकम को एस्टिमेट करने की कोशिश की फिंडले शिराज इन 1911 गिव्स इट रुपीज़ फोर्टी सो फर्स्ट गिवन भाई दादा भाई नौरोजी 1868 रुपीस 20 सेकंड फिंडले शिराज 1911 estimated to rupees 49 per person then third was given by wadia and joshi 1913 and 14 rupees 44.30 ab dekhi inflation jaise jaise badh rahi hai earning potential bhi badh rahi hai and similarly the price is also rising fourth is vkrv rao 1925 se 29 tak rupees 76 per person Now what we see after independence the government of India appointed national income committee in August 1949 under chairman of professor P C Malanobis one of the renowned statistician of all time who was also heading second planning commission so it is called Malanobis plan to make so many industries so it compile authoritative estimation of national income and he establishes government central statistical organization in 1949 for formulation of national income so national income ke formulation ke liye calculation ke liye kya banaya gaya central statistical organization cso ki sthapna ki gayi in the year 1949 ab kuch important points dekhte hain regarding cso so the government of india decided to merge cso and nsso to form our national statistical office cso ko nsso ke sath merge kar diya gaya hai and there is new office called as national statistical office under the ministry of statistics and program implementation mosp jo ki aapke financial statistics ko data usko पूरे कंट्रीज से कैलकुलेट करती हैं क्या एक्सपेंडिचर्स हो रहे हैं किस सेक्टर में क्या डिमांड एंड सप्लाई है एंड दैट इज़ यूज्ड टू फॉर्मुलेट द जीडीपी ऑफ आवर कंट्री एंड दिस डेटा इज आल्सो यूज्ड इन बजट फॉर्मुलेशन नाउ आगे बढ़ते हैं सो समथिंग अबाउट सीएसओ सीएसओ एस सेट अप इन नाइनटीन ऑन द टू विंग्स ऑफ नेशनल स्टेटिस्टिकल ऑफिस अलॉन्ग विद द नेशनल सैम्पल सर्वे ऑफिस एक्टिविटीज इंक्लूड जी डी पी इंडेक्स जी डी पी कैलकुलेशन तो ये क्या करती है जी डी पी को कैलकुलेट करती है सी एस ओ एंड इट ऑल्सो फॉर्म इंडेक्स ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन आई आई पी अंडर विच इट इस्टीमेट्स दैट हाउ मैनी इंडस्ट्रीज आर परफॉर्मिंग इन वॉट मैनर इट ऑल्सो इस्टीमेट इनर्जी स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्टैटिस्टिक्स हाउ फार इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आर परफॉर्मिंग बिल्डिंग्स एंड सिटीज पोर्ट्स रेलवेज it also estimate national income accounting accounts of national income of india conduct at annual survey of industries consumer price indices for the urban non manual employees and human development statistics gender statistics and imparting training in the official statistics so official statistical training ka bhi kaam karti hai so aap एजुकेशन लेने के लिए आईएसआई में एडमिट होते हो देन यू गेट स्टैटिस्टिकल ट्रेनिंग सो आपकी बहुत सारी ट्रेनिंग होती है कैसे डेटा बन रहे हैं कैसे नेशनल इनकम बन रही है एंड इट इज टर्म्स ऑफ प्राइमरी डेटा कलेक्टिंग थ्रू नेशनल वाइड हाउस होल्ड सर्वे ऑन वेरियस सोशल इकोनॉमिक सब्जेक्ट बाई एनुअल सर्वे ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज ऑल्सो कलेक्ट द रूरल डेटा एंड क्रॉप स्टैटिस्टिक्स Now let us see another factor that is National Statistical Office (NSO). NSO और उसकी functioning क्या है? So NSO 
Wolf is headed by Directorate General and it is responsible for the NSO is responsible for conducting large scale sample survey in diverse field on all AI basis. So all India basis pay large scale sample survey go calculate karti hai NSO. Secondly, primary data are collected through the national wide household survey on various socio-economic subjects, yani ki social related subjects and economic subjects both are compiled together by NSO and it provides the annual survey of industries so NSO collects data on rural and urban prices plays a significant role in improvement of crop statistics kitni kheti baadi ho rahi hai aapke gaon mein gehu chana dal makka ityadi ki faslon ki jankari NSO ke dwara hame calculate karke milti hai how much crops is diversified, how much agriculture land is being done, how much mangroves are forested, how much vegetable is there, how much fruit is cultivated. All data regarding agriculture and farming activities is given by National Statistical Office. And it is under the supervision of cross estimation by the state agencies. Now moving ahead. So थोड़ा सा और हम समझने कोशिश करते हैं यहां तक आपको समझ में आ गया होगा कि नेशनल इनकम किसे कहते हैं व्हाट इज जीडीपी जीवीए क्या है कैसे कैलकुलेट करते हैं एनएसओ और सीएसओ को मर्ज करके एनएसओ बना दिया गया है नाउ ये लेटेस्ट फैक्ट्स याद रखेंगे और थोड़ा सा समझने का प्रयास करेंगे व्हाट इज इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ इट इज इंक्रीज्ड इकोनॉमिक कैपेसिटी टू प्रोड्यूस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज सेकंड it is conventionally measured by increasing economic GDP and GNP or per capita net domestic product. Thirdly, if any one of the components of GDP minus consumption, investment, net export, etc. increased, in may se koi bhi component agar badhte hai dikhta hai, kisi mein growth hoti hai, consumption mein, investment mein, export mein, then it is considered to be the economic growth. Hence, this does not give a real picture of the prosperity of economy. So economy kitni prosperous ho rahi hai, rich ho rahi hai, developed ho rahi hai, uska actual figure hume yahan pe nahi milta hai. Then it is a quantitative measurement, it gives the increase in the economic output. Next is economic development. So economic development is an increase in the Living in tender improvement in the self-esteem needs freedom from operation as well as the greater choices. Yani ki when an individual gets employment, he invest or have consumption pattern that leads to his needs fulfillment, his freedom choices and his freedom from operation as well as the mobility in his life his total economic development that is the economic development so it is socio-economic progress of the country as a whole it takes the data of societal development of the individual as well as the economic growth of the country it also have the development related to growth of human capital index decreased in inequality figures and structural changes that improve the general population and quality of life. It is generally measured by various indices such as STI, HPI, GDI, etc. Human Development Index Se bhi hum economic development measure karte hain. Human Population Index and Gross Domestic Index ko use karke hum economic development ki measurement karte hain. So it is a qualitative as well as quantitative both in nature. Keep it in mind. Just a second. 